Hey, what is up, guys? Real Touch GML here, and today I will be bringing you guys a tutorial on mana. Um, <clears throat> so, pretty much what I've done is I've created a player, and I've just made it so when you press the space key, he will fire this fireball thingy. So, let me just go ahead and show you. So, as you can see, he just presses it and he releases this fireball thingy. Now we're gonna go ahead and make mana. Now what I want for mana is when you shoot your mana goes down but it is constantly going up. If that makes sense. I hope so. So we're just gonna create an object. It's gonna be OBJ mana. And in the create event we need to display a variable. And this is going to be a mana or whatever you'd like equals one hundred. And 100 is going to be the max. So, in the draw event, we're going to draw health bar. Um, so X1, remember I'm looking in the, on the bottom here. So X1 is going to be where your health bar starts in the top left corner. So I'm going to make it 0 because I want it to start in the top left. Y1 is how far your health bar goes down. So I'm going to say 30. X, X2 is how far your health bar goes um, horizontally, how far it reaches out. So I'm going to say 100. And Y2 is just the top right corner. So you always want that to be the same as your uh, X1. So now the amount is going to be mana because that is our variable that we put in. The back color is going to be C red or whatever you'd like. The min color is going to be C black. And the max color is going to be C yellow. I think of man, I think of yellow, but you can do whatever you want. So direction is going to be zero, and I'm going to show back and show the border. So now if I go ahead and place this in the room. As you can see, we have a health bar up here. Um, now again, you can have like an actual health bar, and then go on to this and make it like underneath. Um, this does not count as your health variable, so you can have as many of these as you want, and you can position this any way you want. Just play around with the numbers. So, now what I wanted to do is when we press the space key, now remember, um, I'm using the code for the step event. If you had just had like a, um, like key press space and drag and drops, you could do the same thing with drag and drops as, you, as I can do with this. So, in the step event, um, actually, you know what, we're going to do it in the mana event, or in the mana. So what we're going to do is we are going to add an event, key press space. And it's going to send mana, minus equals 10. Now we do minus equals because that makes it relative. If we just did minus, we would get an error. So we need to do um, equals. And we don't do equals minus 10 because that would make it so that mana just equals negative 10. We want it to minus equal 10. So that's how you do relative for coding. Also in the create event, we want alarm 0 to equal 30. And in alarm 0, we're going to set mana to plus equal, again that's the relative, 5, and set alarm 0 back to 30. So every second your mana is going to go up 5. <clears throat> now, But now we need to go ahead and... Well, alright, let's test it out first and I'll show you the problem we have with this. So you can see, it goes down but it goes back up, you see? And it keeps going up. But now check this out, if we press space... You see our mana doesn't go down. Why so? Because we, the mana is going to keep going up past 100 that we set it to, and it's just going to keep going up. So what we need to do is we need to check if mana is less than 100, and then we're going to set these uh, curly brackets in. So that way... If it's more than 100 or equals 100, it's never going to go up past that. So as you can see, it goes up, 
we wait a little bit and as you can see we do that but now you see you can still shoot even if the man is all the way down so what we're gonna do is um what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set this to global my bad go ahead and set all your mana to global and if you don't know what global variables are that means you can deal with these variables within other objects so just go ahead and set global to all these and all right my bad now let's go ahead and in the player in the step event if keyboard check pressed vk space we'll do the double and sign and global dot mana is greater than zero now if you had that in a key press event instead of the step event so like if we did key, key press you know, space you would do the same thing you would just uh, with drag and drops you would check um, for the set variable if global dot mana or actually you would do this test variable global dot mana is larger than zero and then you would put in the curly bracket or the uh, end blocks and then you would just put the create <coughs> this is just the way to do it in code so now let's go ahead and test it out you can see we're going down can't shoot anymore also though one more problem um, if we keep pressing it's going to keep going down 10 so in the mana in the key press event we need to check um, if global dot mana is larger than zero then it's going to make it like minus equal 10. So, looks like that everything is working now. Um, if you didn't get something, see nothing goes, but now it goes up. So yeah, again if you want this to like not regenerate quicker or you want them to like run into something to get mana, I'm sure you can figure out how to do that with just simple collision events and the plus equals. But yeah, um, go ahead and leave a like if you like this tutorial and subscribe if you haven't already if you like all my tutorials in general. And I uh, hope it helped and I will see you guys next time.